When I'm working with a talented woman filmmaker like Susan is, it makes me feel extremely comfortable and very honored. And I think it's extremely important because women see things differently. And so the stories that we're going to tell and the perspectives that we reflect on those stories is, is going to be different. And if you leave that out, then men and women are losers because you don't get to see the other part of the story. And so you're incomplete and we are. I wanted to track Jane's journey and understanding what had happened to her in her life, the high points, the low points, the mistakes uh, that brought her to being a fully realized, fully actualized woman. I also really felt that Jane's story had so many elements that would speak to women everywhere. And no matter your age, no matter your experience, there's something in your story that speaks to everyone. And not just women, I think men too. Yes. I think unavailable fathers, I think difficult uh, relationships with your children, uh, unfaithful husbands, bulimia, finding your voice finally is something that I think a lot of people can relate to. It's a very human story. Well, you know, I realized in the, in the mid, early 2000s when I decided to write a memoir, I knew that it would have to be, um, a, it was a gender journey, my, my life the way I could talk about it would, would be a gender journey. When I first saw it, and the first thing you see in here are a tape, an audio tape, and you hear Nixon's voice saying, what's happened to Jane Fonda? <laughs>